honestly, when this was released, uh, I'm not alone, but I think a lot of football fans we're a bit confused what Adidas and uh, Juventus have uh, created. I understand when it comes to, you know, representing something and I'm a huge fan of their home show and even their away show. I do see the connection from the city or the fans or even the movement um, because the way was based on the music scene of Turin. But this one is based on Turin. I've never been to Turin and again, this is the hardest part about reviewing shirts. When it's based on a city, if you've never been there, you don't really know what it's based on but um look i understand i do like design elements in shirts i just feel like there was an idea here and they missed it the photo shoot for it though the lifestyle part of it and i've been a part of a lot of releases when it comes to football kits and um i love looking at lifestyle thing and i think that's why you know magazines like soccer bible rabona mag mundial magazine are there for football fans because they show that football shirts can be more than a game day item and i think this one here was stylized well for that photo shoot that kind of sold me on the actual kits um the colorway itself is probably the hardest to work with on an everyday you know clothing attire i think this is one of the toughest shirts this season for me i reckon if i had to style it although i think adas did a great job for that as a football shirt though I don't know. I think there's a bit of hit and miss here. And of course, the biggest I saw for me on this one immediately and it had no problem on the home and away shirt for me. I think it actually worked okay. But the Jeep 4XE here is just, just terrible. I think it's just in the wrong place, honestly. Um, I do love the Jeep on it. I think it you know breaks up the white between the two big sort of blue pieces. I think the fact that they've gone for the monochromatic blue version of the Juventus logo works well. And I do love the EQT inspired, you know, blue and white Adidas manufacturer logo. Again, this is a simple template that Adidas used. There's nothing special about it. They've got a beautiful iconic V-neck or sort of half V-neck in their Condivo template this season. And I think overall, uh, as a size medium in US, it does feel a little bit bigger and again i will always stress this not every shirt for every club is the same i know for adidas that is being a medium this season and last season there are two totally different sizes there so always make sure to you know if you have the opportunity to buy this shirt in person do check it out otherwise when you're buying online always go a size up if you feel comfortable in it but um overall as a kit i'm going to give this a quick rating it's a two out of five for me. I think two because they tried, but I think they, they just missed the best part. And I think if you remove this little panel here and just kept the rest, it would have looked okay. I think there's a bit too much going on. The placement of the blue sash here or the half sash really throws it for me. And that's disappointing because there was a shirt here. Now, while looking at this shirt, I'm going to quickly reference a few kits of the Juventus era that have gone for the blue and yellow colorway. We do see the 92 away shirt here with the beautiful shoulder sleeve detailing that I think takes inspiration to the sash here um, on our shirt today. And also the 94 goalkeeper shirt that I think was one of the first ones that brought that star element alongside the away shirt, which is the blue with the yellow stars. And then we do see another blue and yellow one in 97. 98 following that and then they've gone for the full blue colorway all the way up until the early 2000s last sort of version that we all fell in love with with the you know the modern version of Juventus the new logo and uh, the Jeep sponsorship really put itself on the line there so of course when we look at those shirts and then look back at this I think this is a lot better than a lot of the ones in the past and again there was a shirt here I think that's going to be the reference for this episode there was a shirt here and I think Adidas missed the mark by just a little bit. As a future classic, I do think this shirt has potential. If you were one of the earlier Juventus fans that bought this with the Ronaldo name set, he did wear it on his last game for the Turin club before he went to Manchester United. And I think if you did buy this shirt with his name set, you are valid for a future classic. Although it is not the prettiest, but I think a lot of ugly shirts of the 90s and even in the early 2000s are valued really highly. And again, Juventus is a club with full of passion. So I think when it comes to the fan base, there's going to be a resurgence in these shirts. 
what's ugly now is always loved in the future. So do keep onto your shirt if you have purchased this. And of course, this shirt and many of the other shirts on this channel that I review are supplied to me by my good friends at Ultra Football. Make sure to check them out in the description below. The final detailing this shirt before we end today's episode, the Holy Trinity does feature two stitched on badges and manufacturer logo. The Jeep here is a light, sort of thin, plasticky vinyl on that I think works well with the shirt. Although I think if it was subliminated within the material, I think it would have looked a lot better. The 4XE, we're not gonna talk about it. I think it's the worst thing on this shirt. So let's just think that it doesn't exist. There's no faulting Adidas material. I think again, as always in all of my reviews, I'm going to give Adidas the high mark when it comes to the design elements of their shirt. The quality control on this is superb. I think Adidas can do no wrong. I think most of us like to wear a light or dark shirt, whether it's an outing, a walk, or even just an everyday thing. I think this is the hardest sort of element to you know, stylize on a day. So if you are buying this shirt, I'd like to know where you'll be wearing it. I think as a football shirt, it does sort of now in my mind work well, but uh, again, it just missed the bite this much. Looking at those shirts previously, I think the last sort of detailing with the star on the shoulders would have made this a lot more of a throwback and it could have been loved by a lot more. I think again, it just it just had it and we missed out on, on something special. The shirt itself is a six panel system. The two little shoulder blade strips here with the three stripes are individual panels attached to the sleeves and the two main panels, the front and back. It's a simple template. I think it works well for that. Overall, it's a simple shirt, but uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you like it or do you hate it? Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to follow me on Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, let me know in the comments below what you think about this shirt and what other shirts you'd like me to check out. Please stay safe, stay away from stupid people, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you and goodbye.